Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in again, this is Red Tater Ray. I wanted to show you guys a couple things, um, alternative uses for fire hose that I have come up with. So behind me here, and forgive all the dust and crap, this actually uh, roll of fire hose uh, sits on my garage floor, or my shop floor. I got a couple rolls, one of them I use for the backyard sump pump. This one I've uh, started cutting the ends off and such uh, to do a couple things with. So first of all, if you don't know, uh, fire hose is actually widely accessible. You can um, find this stuff on eBay, Amazon, new stuff, used stuff. There's companies out there like Recycled Firefighter and Firefighter Turnout Bags, I believe is one, another one of them, that uh, specifically repurpose used um, fire hose for goods like wallets, bags, accessories, and whatnot. I was able to pick this stuff up from uh, my volunteer department that I work with and started playing with it around um, about a year and a half ago. First thing I wanted to try to do, this is a regular piece that's just been flattened out a little bit and cut open. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is try to make a micarta. And what micarta is, is an epoxy um, infused layered fabric material is basically what it is. Um, and you can get this stuff too from knife scale makers, um, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did first is I actually made um, a sheath, and this is still kind of a work in progress sanding wise, but this is a, a knife sheath that I made, or a knife, a set of scales that I made um, for a little skinner from knife kits. I can't remember the actual model, um, but it actually, it feels good. It feels just like the you know G10 or my card that you might get on like an SE knife. Uh, obviously it's not as fined and tuned as not CNC machined and whatnot, but um, if you're in a hobby, do it yourself stuff. That's kind of the direction I wanted to go. And that, you can see too, I kind of epoxied and glued the edges of this guy together to make a little sheath for it. Um, nothing permanent, nothing fancy. It doesn't have a belt clip or belt loops or anything on it, but just a, a blade cover. So that's, you know, the exact same material that I made here I used for those scales. And when you get fire hose, it's going to have a rubber lining to it. I've seen people try to make micarta by just cutting the, these open, start laying epoxy everywhere, building a press of some kind and trying to squish it all together. Well, this rubber liner um, actually is going to do a lot to prevent that and won't adhere, but it's super easy, especially if you have an old uh, toaster oven or a um, food oven that you don't use anymore. You heat this up to about 200 degrees and with gloves, of course, you can peel that rubber lining right off, making it a lot easier to work with. And you can see on this sheet, it doesn't have that shiny yellow rubber lining to it, which of course is like a necessity for fire hose to keep the water in. If it didn't have that rubber liner, it wouldn't, you know, water would squirt out everywhere. You wouldn't <clears throat> be able to use it all that well. So that's that. The other thing I've been kind of dinking around with is kind of making pouches. So here's the exact same material um, like a hose, just a sec actually just made this the other day, a section of hose. This still has the rubber lining in it. This is a cutoff of it. Um, this is spray painted and use some paracord to, um, a little, uh, soldering iron to uh, melt some holes and just make a pouch. And I'm probably going to do like a, a molly clip or a, a speed clip or something like that to, um, make a tourniquet holder. It holds in there very nice. Um, you can reholster it really well and it doesn't come out. It holds stuff very well like that. Now, tourniquets obviously aren't the only thing that, I mean, use your imagination, but if you know, you know, and safety's uh, first, uh, first thought always should have first aid medical stuff on you. Now, as a little teaser, don't want to break any big news yet, um, but something else I was playing around with is making a little training uh, puppy bumper. Um, you see these for uh, dog and, you know, gun dog trainings and stuff like that. This is just an old repurposed um, paracord bracelet that somebody made a long time ago. I don't even remember if they're still around when I was working at a surplus store. We had a bunch of these just to kind of show different paracord patterns that you could um, make. And I couldn't even, honestly, I couldn't even tell you right now what pattern this is. It's not the, the standard Cobra um, weave, but it's kind of cool. It's got camel green on one side, bright orange on the other. It's got a little, you know, uh, non-rotting uh, foam wrapped up in here. You notice it's not super round. It's not super full, but if you're going to be looking to work with a puppy, um, it'll be a lot easier for that little puppy to grab onto. And this stuff is tough. Fire hose is obviously designed to be really, really tough. And again, same thing on the bottom. Probably add a little to the top just for some stitching, but I have 
you know, grommet press, and uh, this is uh, actually going to work out really sweet for uh, like a pre-training, like a puppy bumper instead of a full size. You see those full size, if you know like Labradors or uh, Golden Retrievers, um, short haired um, bird dogs essentially. The bumpers are normally really thick, really big, maybe a foot long. Not that great for puppies to put in their mouth and carry around and chew on. So this is going to be just absolutely amazing, I think, here in the next couple of weeks. And we'll let you know. So there's just a couple alternative uses, my thoughts on uh, some of the many, many things that you guys can do if you're able to find and source some fire hose out there. Let me know in the comments below what you used and have seen used. Of course, you can go on Pinterest. Um, YouTube's got tons of videos out there, too. Um, this is going to be one of them on what you can do with recycled fire hose. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.